Hey guys, this is a Ragman task guide for Dress to Kill. For this task, you have to find two of the kind of cowboy hats and two of the Ushanka ear flap hats in raid, and then hand all four items over to Ragman. So for this task, you are going to need the cowboy hats and also the Ushanka ear flap hats, and then the best place to get both of these items are going to be from scavs, either from looting the scavs that you eliminate on your PMCs, or from loading in on your own scav and having them already on, or looting the dead ones that you find during your scav raids. Sometimes you can even run into other player scavs who will give you their hat if you ask them or even offer them a trade for something that you have on your own scav. Now for the Yushanka hat, it does have to be found in raid, so even though you may find it on PMCs who are doing the setup task on customs, their hat will not work if it does not have the found in raid checkmark. And just so that you guys know, you do get two Yushankas as a quest reward for completing the task what job part two, so you could always hold on to them until you have this task, but honestly they are quite common on scavs. So even if you do completely forget about this task, it will not take you long to find these hats during raids. Now for the cowboy hats, as I mentioned, the same guidelines do apply in terms of finding them from scavs during your raid or potentially spawning in with one, but additionally you can also find them on the rogues, and there is also a chance for them to spawn on the mannequins around interchange throughout the clothing stores. I do tend to see the cowboy hats a little less often than the Ushankas, but it still shouldn't take you guys too much time or trouble in terms of finding them. However, when you are specifically looking for an item, it does always seem to be a little bit more elusive than normal. And just so that you guys know, you do get a cowboy hat as a quest reward for the Tarkov Shooter Part 3, so you could potentially hold on to it until you do get this dress to kill task if you are anxious about being stuck looking for cowboy hats. Now it is also worth mentioning that as a reward for this task, Ragman does give you a gazelle armor, and I do tend to set it aside in my stash because Ragman does eventually give you a task called So It Good Part 2, which does require you to hand in a gazelle with 100% durability. So I honestly just tend to use this one that I get as a reward for completing Dress to Kill. Or you could alternatively use it towards the hot delivery task, which Ragman does give you, which requires you to stash two gazelles on interchange at the music stage, which is out in the parking lot outside of the mall. But basically that will be up to you guys on whether or not you want to use it for that or potentially even use it in raid for yourself. So hopefully you guys found this guide useful and it does help you to complete this task. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video. And if you're still here at the end, then I definitely appreciate you. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is just a couple of my different social links in case you guys wanted to connect more easily. I am primarily streaming on Twitch now multiple nights a week. So if you do want to connect with me or my community, that would probably be the easiest way to do so. And if you do come over to the Twitch and you want to join the Discord community, then just type exclamation point Discord or cord in the chat in order to get an invite link. And if you don't use Twitch, then I do have a link in the picture as well as a link below in the description. And we are growing and currently have an active and welcoming community with people of all experience and skill levels. So there will always be someone who could help to answer any questions that you may have. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video, and I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day.